I became a scientist because open questions fascinate me, because I like to think about why things work the way they do, and often there aren't any answers. I would also like my work to contribute to solving medically relevant problems in the future. My name is Christian Franze. I do research in the field of physical biology and work on the mechanics of the nervous system. Physical biology, a field that is currently experiencing a revolution. Christian Franze is one of the revolutionaries right at the center of this development. The biochemical processes involved in the development of neurons have been the subject of intensive research over the last few decades. But what role do mechanical forces such as friction or tissue strength play? The questions that interest me the most are how do nerve cells know where they need to grow to, which cells to connect to, where to stop growing? How are all these very dynamic processes regulated in such a complex environment? How and to where nerve cells grow is largely dependent on their environment, the surrounding nerve tissue. In the laboratory, Christian Franze and his team are investigating how mechanical properties of brain or spinal cord tissue can be characterized. Tissue stiffness, or softness, has a decisive effect on how nerve cells grow. We are trying to see how neural networks develop and how they react to mechanical influences. And to simulate this, we change the stiffness of the gels on which we grow the cells. Christian Franze and his interdisciplinary team are investigating how brain or spinal cord tissue can be imitated. Nerve tissue is viscoelastic. If a short, rapid force is applied to the tissue, it behaves elastically, like a rubber ball. If, on the other hand, a permanent force is applied, the tissue becomes viscous and begins to flow, like honey. When nerve cells grow through developing brain tissue, they have to exert forces on the environment. Without force, there is no movement. This means the speed of their growth is dependent on factors such as the stiffness of the tissue around them, which they need to hold on to and pull on in order to grow. This is relatively easy to understand. One analogy would be cycling. Cycling on a paved road is easy and relatively fast, while cycling along a sandy beach or on a soft lawn would require a lot more power to get ahead and it also move much slower. Franze and his team have investigated these mechanical interactions in the brains of clawed frog embryos. Their main focus is on the development of retinal ganglion cells, i.e. nerve cells that connect the retina with the brain. At a certain point during development, the neurons change their direction. Franze has been able to show that where the growth pattern of the axons changes, there is also a change in tissue stiffness. On the one side, the tissue becomes stiffer. The finding? Neurons grow considerably faster on stiff tissue, causing a change in direction. When we discovered a mechanical gradient at the exact spot where the axons rotate, that was a eureka moment, and we celebrated it. Controlling and stimulating neuronal growth by understanding the interaction of mechanical and chemical processes. Softening or solidifying tissue. Stopping or stimulating growth. Christian Franz's great hope is to make a decisive contribution to research on incurable diseases such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's by taking the mechanics of the nervous system into account. The answers to unsolved questions can only be obtained by connecting different areas of science, by crossing the boundaries between physics, chemistry and biology. Cambridge has been the home of Christian Franze and his family for over 10 years. But their family is looking forward to a new chapter and a new home. Erlangen. Here at the Friedrich Alexander University, Christian Franze will take up his Humboldt professorship. I know that the medical research here is fantastic. This university is ready for interdisciplinary sciences. The biologists, medics and physicists are ready to sit down and discuss how best to tackle medically relevant problems. The goal? To find new collaborations and to expand upon established research axes.
Together with Stephanie Curden, professor of anatomy and cell biology, Christian Franza has already done research on diseases such as multiple sclerosis. Of course we are interested in understanding the big picture. What mechanical properties do these foci change in the central nervous system? And this is exactly where Christian would come into play, so that we can understand how tissue properties and cells come together to form a disease. And I think this is such a perfect interface between the two research groups. Bringing basic research and medical application closer together. In order to implement this project, a unique center will be created over the next three years, together with the University Hospital, FAU, and the Max Planck Center for Physics and Medicine. Alongside Jochen Guck and Wahid Sandokda, who also came to Germany as Humboldt professors, he will manage the center. This is a synergy effect of the Humboldt professorship, which enables long-term collaborations between extraordinary researchers and brings together different concepts in science. The support of the Humboldt professorship offers an unusually high degree of freedom. I can really do science that is solely driven by curiosity. I can go in any direction I want, and that is something very valuable, for which I'm also very grateful.